Yeah, and for this Quake side, they're going to be going in a 4-2-3-1 formation. Pay attention to Jackson Yule and Herrera to little float a little bit more, and especially Herrera to join into that attacking three. Tori Penso is in control tonight, and we are underway. It's last year's cellar dwellers in the Western Conference already showing signs of being upwardly mobile this year. Yeah, and that's and that's very Ben Olsen uh, when it comes down to it. Espinoza! Well, that was very Christian Espinoza with a fabulous ball in and gets it back as well to the byline. Asking for a handball. Torrey Penso taking a look. Being surrounded by Earthquakes players. Will she be spoken to though by our VAR official who's Kevin Terry Jr. tonight? Well, let's take a look as this ball comes across. Oof. Yep, that's a handball. Wow. <laughs> the, the, the hand is out away from the body. And you can see that, that just denies that pass to come in towards Cal. An arm extended away from the body there by Teenage Hedebi. And I think Tori Penso is going to be asked to take a look at it. So, inside the first five minutes. It's the perfect setup where it puts the defender in a terrible position. Ends up, in my opinion, being a handball. But we still have to wait for VAR. Penso gets the penalty. Teenager DB, a judge to have handled. Ben also doesn't like what he's seeing. Second goal of the season to go with two assists and to give San Jose an early lead. Steve Clark trying to stop him. It's Espinoza against Clark, and Espinoza wins the battle. And San Jose draw first blood. Christian Espinoza creates this handball situation where the penalty comes and he steps up with confidence and just blasts this one right beyond Clark. Look, it, it's all about the pace. You know, the guess is the right way for Clark, but just the power from Espinoza, it goes beyond him. It's one to zero. Opportunity there for Minsa. Karaskia, meanwhile, a long winding run at the other end. Oh, it's a penalty! Torrey Penso has pointed to the spot. Baird stayed down and is still down. And Tori Penso took a couple of seconds to think think about it, and then she points to the spot for this. All right, that's a bit soft here. We'll get a closer look here. Uh, I think Baird makes the most of it there. That's a yeah. that's a bit soft for me. You can, you can see there's contact, and then they jump after that that contact. JT Marcinkowski trying to stop him. It's Bassi straight down the middle. Marcinkowski diving away to his left. I mean, Bassi can't stop scoring penalties, and the Dynamo are back in business. His own. I guess his own way of trying to distract Bassi from moving across the line back and forth, gets steady at that last moment, and Bassi just goes right down the middle with the guess that Marcinkowski would drop out, out of the way. And now, all of a sudden, one to one. Looking right before the half, Adrian. This is some of the situations. It's just got to be better, just better execution, you know, in that final third once again. Now Herrera picking up the pieces, Karaskia driving on, is he brought down? Oh, it's a great save! JT Marcinkowski, they're asking for a penalty. Now Jackson Yule, lovely pass to release him. Yule with options, uses Espinosa, one-on-one -on -one here against Sterez, Espinosa! Oh, and Steve Clark had a heart-in-mouth moment. A couple of counter-attacks that just fizzled out, but here we go again with Montero galloping into some space. Cowell looking to get on his horse. Kate Cowell just didn't take the ball with him. <laughs> well, look at this. Kate Cowell goes in, he cuts in here. Boom. Ooh. There, There's contact yes. right across the shin. He tries to stay up. There's the contact. That, if he goes down there, it's probably called a penalty. And then there's the, the extra little shove. Now we'll have to see, because it is going to VAR. Yeah. 
And I said, right there, oh, that's, yes. a, that's, that's the penalty right there. And just because he doesn't go down. Ethan Bartlow clearly makes contact there. I mean, you, you can't see it any more clearly than that. It was, it was a foot into the shin pad of Cal, who just tried to barrel his way through it. Penso's given the penalty. And I think she's got that absolutely right. Ben Olsen, of course, is going to be irate. But short one up for players who try and stay on their feet here because that's exactly what Kay Cowell did. Escobar has been booked early on in the first half. Will he go in the same direction this time? Espinosa went the other way. So did Clark. But nothing he could do about it. And San Jose are back in front. This man has ice in his veins as he steps up here and just goes low and hard to the left of Clark on this one. No chance for Clark. He gets stuck there. He was thinking it was going to the right. Can't react fast enough. But Espinoza steps up strong because that is so difficult to take two penalties in a row and put them both in the back of the net. As you said, Adrian, it's all mind games. Espinoza will work this short. Jackson Yule back to him. Quick exchange of passes. Then Espinoza bursting into the area, flashing it across goals. Well, it was a deflection that could have gone anywhere. And with it, seals the win. It's another three points at PayPal Park. Christian Espinosa twice.